Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see approximate estimate. So how you can define that? See approximate estimate is made to find out an approximate cost in a short time. If you want to give an approximate cost of a building or any structure, maybe a client to a client or any owner, if as an engineer, if someone asks you what will be the probable cost of my structure in a short time and you have to give that approximate estimate or approximate cost of a particular building, then you can use the approximate estimate without taking out actual quantities. Remember this, you are not finding out the actual quantities of items of various items of work but you are just checking or you from your experiences you can say that in a particular locality the cost of land is this this the cost of construction per square feet or per meter square is this this so from that you can estimate or you can find a probable cost of a particular structure or a building in a short time so what is approximate estimate? It is made to find out an approximate cost in a short time and without taking actual quantities. So this enables the owner to consider the financial aspect of the project. For example, if there is one owner and as an engineer, if someone asks you, maybe a owner, he asks you what will be the probable cost of my structure so that I can raise my funds or I can be prepared well before the construction i can uh, financially be stable before starting the construction so on that moment if someone asks you and uh, ask you about how will how will be the probable cost so you can suddenly say that in a short time so that owner will also consider the financial aspect of the project whether it is uh, within his budgets or not then the accuracy of cost which is estimated by approximate estimate depends upon the judgment as i told you before it will totally depend upon the judgment skill and experience of the estimator and upon the correctness of the prices if you don't know the current prices of various materials various situations where uh, if you don't know the current prices of per square feet maybe per square feet or per meter square cost of a particular area then you cannot judge or you cannot find out the approximate cost of a particular building so you must be well skilled you must be well experienced it all depends upon the judgment skill and experience of the estimator and correctness of correctness of the prices then it is required for preliminary studies of various aspects of a work or project to decide the financial position and policy for administration sanction by the competent authority like municipal corporation and development authority see it is required for preliminary study why it is needed if you want to check preliminary that how will be the what will be the probable cost or if you want to decide whether i am financially stable financially stable or not to construct that structure so you can decide the financial position from the approximate estimate and you can prepare or form policies for the administration san administrative sanction and see this concept we will see in next videos but remember one thing administrative sanction is made by the competent authorities like municipal corporation or any development authorities so administrative sanction this concept we will see in our next videos but remember this administrative sanction or technical authority you can say technical sanction technical approval you can get by the competent authority so Simply in short words, you can say that approximate estimate is a procedure to find out the approximate cost of a building or a structure in a short time without taking the actual quantities. Then from preliminary estimate, the estimated cost may be known and then income and cost is studied. What we do in the preliminary estimate which is nothing but initial estimate of a particular building or a structure the approximate cost will be find out or known 
first we will find out the approximate cost then depending upon that you can decide what will be the in what is the income and what will be the cost then if it is justified to go for the project then further detailed estimate are prepared if you find that this project will be financially good it will be profitable for me in the approximate estimate then you can go for the detailed estimate first you have to decide whether this project is justified to go or not if it is decided that it can be established it can be adopted or it can be constructed that this project can be constructed or not so you can decide that and you can further do the detailed estimate then the approximate estimate is prepared from practical knowledge as i told you before experiences and practical knowledge and cost of similar works carried out by the pwd or by an architect see this concept is very important for example in a locality if someone has to uh, construct a building and he asks you as an engineer or as an estimator he asks you that what will be the probable cost of construction for my building so in that case what you should know what are the prerequisites you must know what is the cost of land in that locality two things you should know basically what is the cost of land in that locality and what will be the cost of construction per square feet or per meter square in that locality what are these two things first thing you should know what will be the probable cost of land and second thing what will be the probable cost of construction in that locality so depending upon that you can compare the proposed structure you can compare that for example a particular uh, land costs you 3000 rupees per square feet and the cost of construction in that locality is say 1500 rupees per square feet so similarly if you want to construct the structure in same locality you can compare that uh, the per square feet cost is this this the per per square feet uh, cost of land and per square feet cost of uh, construction is this this so i can compare this and i can find out the approximate cost so you have to decide it from the cost of similar works now let's see what is the purpose of estimate approximate estimate i have told you what is approximate estimate so from that you can decide or you can uh, judge what will be the purpose of approximate estimate so, so the first purpose is to give the rough idea of the probable expenditure as i told you in the definition or in the introduction it gives you the rough idea of probable expenditure and a rough idea of probable expenditure can be obtained from this approximate estimate then for administrative approval in case of government and other public works proper sanction has to be obtained for allocating the expenditure which is required for the detailed investigations so what we will do it will also be helpful in the administrative approval so that for the detailed investigation for the preparation of plans preparation of estimates you will have at least the approximate data that this will be the probable cost of my structure then technical sanction is given on the basis of approximate uh, estimate found out by the by this method means for the technical sanction you must know what will be my approximate cost you may have seen tender notices in the newspaper it says approximate cost of the structure or project will be this this that means they have given the technical sanction for that approximate cost and the contractor will quote their rates depending upon that then approximate estimate of the project gives you fairly good idea regarding the approximate cost of construction and hence it becomes possible to make the suitable arrangements beforehand for the financial aspect as i told you the owner will be ready before the construction he will be ready with his money his budget his financial aspects he will be ready before the construction by the approximate estimate then 
the approximate estimate is very much useful in framing the tax schedules remember this also it is also helpful in taxation purposes then approximate estimate is also used for valuation and rent fixation if you uh, if you want to find out approximate cost of a building that is nothing but valuation for example if i am saying the cost of this structure or cost of this uh, building is 20 lakh rupees so what i am doing i am checking two things again what i told you in the introduction i will check the two things what is the cost of plot or uh, land in that locality per square feet or per meter square then what is the cost of construction at this moment at this day on this day in that locality maybe per square feet or maybe per meter square so from that you can value your building or structure so that is nothing but valuation so for valuation purposes for rent fixation purposes you can do the approximate estimate sometimes what happens it is very necessary to find out the cost of an existing structure maybe for the following reasons say the reasons may be for the sale purposes or for the pur purchase of the property then for rent fixation of the property for taxation purposes for insurance purpose so all these purposes can be fulfilled by doing the approximate estimate of that structure so this was the video about introduction to the approximate estimate and purpose of approximate estimate thank you